Staying with the 40 visit to Pyongyang by the South Korean art troupe, their role is integral to improving inter-Korean ties. The first such concert this decade holds great significance and open doors for greater exchanges to come. EG1 explains further. Inter-Korean cultural exchanges stretch back to 1985, when Seoul and Pyongyang held performances on the sidelines of the first reunion of war-torn families. Since then, the two Koreas engaged in several cultural and sport exchanges until the early 2000s, either to pave the way for a major diplomatic breakthrough that led to the thawing of ties or to further underscore and celebrate the peaceful mood in the region. After several years of increasingly frosty relations, the Pyeongchang Winter Olympics in South Korea provided the optimal backdrop to resume exchanges. And according to experts, the latest South Korean performance in Pyongyang holds even more meaning not only because it was the first in 13 years, but from the way it was arranged. This time, it all happened very swiftly without the South Korean artists having to change their lyrics or anything. It shows how much both sides are trying to understand each other and be considerate. The resumption of inter-Korean cultural exchanges is expected to bring about a ripple effect in other cultural aspects as well. South Korea's culture minister Do jong hwan who led the South Korean art troupe to the north, said he hopes to resume numerous joint projects, including the excavation of the ancient Korean dynasty's Manote Palace, a UNESCO World Heritage Site in the north's Kaesong city, and the compilation of unified Korean language for the dictionary Gyeolemal Kun Sajeon. Both projects had been running for about 10 years until they were halted in 2015. Previously, there have been various ministerial-level meetings following the inter-Korean summit discussing specific ways to develop the relationship. So hopefully, after April summit, these cultural exchanges and joint projects could be part of their talks. Experts say the South Korean government should work with North Korea to set up an environment to make these exchanges more stable, so they are not merely a way to break through tense situations, but a genuine opportunity for Koreans on both sides of the border to understand each other better. But some experts say these wide array of cultural exchanges need to be taken step by step. The differences are still so huge, overwhelming the public with each other's culture could backfire and make people feel more distant from one another. Thus, along with carrying out cultural exchanges, the government should also help people understand North Korea and its culture. After more than a decade of escalating tensions and a widening gulf between the two sides, Seoul and Pyongyang are once again utilizing inter-Korean cultural exchanges to narrow differences and work toward mutual understanding and harmony. Lee Ji-won, Arirang News.